The African Medical Research Fund, or AMREF, founded in 1957, is dedicated to finding African solutions to African problems in relation to public health. The organization boasts a 97% African staff and has its headquarters in Nairobi. Dr. Tagess Guerma is the first African woman to be the Director General of AMREF. She officially launched AMREF's Stand Up for African Mothers campaign, a global effort that aims to reduce maternal deaths in Africa by training 15,000 midwives in Africa by 2015. Over 200,000 women die in childbirth every year in Africa. Lack of access to formal health care, lack of education, and lack of supplies contribute to the high risks many African women face giving birth. Dr. Guerma believes training more midwives can help to reduce maternal risk. Women die due to complications during pregnancy and child birth. While one in 4,500 women, and sometimes even 30,000 women, and when you go to the Scandinavian countries, die due to complications during pregnancies and child birth, one in 39 die while delivering a baby in Africa. But why are they dying? They're dying of very simple thing. They're dying because they are bleeding. There's no drug to, drug to stop that bleeding. They're dying because they have an infection, simple infection. They're dying because they have high blood pressure, or malaria, HIV, anemia, or because they haven't chosen to be pregnant and they are doing unsafe abortion. The organization is planning to use innovative ways to train such a large number of midwives in such a short period of time. Technology will play a key role in helping the midwives to update their skills. Okay. Oh yes, we use innovative technology to train. We are in fact one of the organizations which started in 2005 to use e-learning to upgrade enrolled nurses to registered nurses in Kenya. And based on this experience, we were able to uh, train in a very uh, short time around 5,000 to 7,000 nurses. And this experience has been now uh, scaled up in Tanzania and in Uganda. And we will be using e-learning to train midwives. AMREF also plans to raise awareness for midwives in Africa by striving to symbolically nominate African midwives for the Nobel Peace Prize. AMREF is attempting to collect one million signatures to nominate Esther Madudu, a midwife from Uganda, in order to bring attention to the work that midwives do. The women who cannot afford to come to hospital, mostly they are highly risky mothers in the village because these complications can arise in the village. And they, most of them die. They end up dying. That's why we have high maternal mortality rate in Uganda. Very often, Western organizations have taken a top-down approach to public health concerns in sub-Saharan Africa. It is no secret that Western interventions into public health issues have not always been successful. Dr. Guerma, who formerly served with the World Health Organization, discussed why new African-led approaches to public health problems are necessary. You know, in the past so many years, so much money has been given as aid to Africa. But the impact has not been so great. So we feel that aid has not been really effective in the, in the past. We will need to learn out of this and try to work differently and really work with the local communities and empower the local communities to find their own solutions. And the change will become a lasting change that way. Because uh, if you only think about a project, implementing a project in a different community, and when the project finishes, everything dies, this is not the kind of aid we want. We want aid which is really empowering the people giving them skills and means for them to change their own health. You can learn more about the Stand Up for African Mothers campaign at their website at www.standupforafricanmothers.com.
Karen Atia, Sahara TV, New York City.